Hello everyone, welcome back to Dead Cells, in which I realised the last time I played I said, hey, let's use this curse sword, what's the worst that could happen, or worse to that effect. Uh, the worst that could happen is hopefully quite obvious. I could get hit, <laughs> and then the game will be over. I find this is very, very likely. However, we're going to give it a go. We're just going to play a little bit more carefully, and hopefully not just run full tilt into one of those enemies that I could never avoid. Go this way. <laughs> don't want to be up there. Right. Oh, we can't go this way. What, what, what? So it looks like I've uh, basically made a rod for my own back on this run, but that's okay. Um, we do have a shield, but I'm very reluctant to actually try using it. Because, honestly, the chances of me succeeding at that... Oh, hello. Are uh, low. Nice, 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 nice. The, the thing does enough damage that honestly, it's actually working out quite well. Um, but I, I really don't want to have to rely on my reflexes when it comes to something like this uh, the shield here. And I'm worried about this because I'm not sure if there's a baddie down here that I don't want to fight. There. There probably is, but you know the idea. These things take two hits, which is great because that's all the time I have. <laughs> As is that. Uh, HP is going to be useless to us, and I, I will change weapon if I feel that I have basically achieved what I <laughs> feel like. If I can get through this level with this sword, I feel like I'm onto a winner. If I can get further, um, I mean, that's an option, but so be it. Um, nah. See, I, I panicked because I thought the first enemy is likely to hit me, but of course that one has a cooldown. Whereas the second enemy, which was actually going to hit me, if I dodged the second enemy, I would have also dodged the attack from the first enemy, but I panicked. So I got it wrong, <laughs> basically. Uh, okay, fine. A, a bow and a shield. I think we tried this before and it was terrible. I do feel a little bit, you know, somewhat less unconfident, which is a weird thing to say, than I previously have about the idea of trying that... Um, cursed sword again i think that it's a it's a great practice and and when it's sort of presented to you and it's kind of the only option i guess why not uh, i see you uh, do that. um whereas you know it's, it's good to start a run with a little bit of danger ever present Oh, I didn't realize we got the bloodthirsty shield. I just picked up a shield. Uh, I like the bloodthirsty shield. I think we've been through this. Not that it works. Because I completely failed to press the button at the right time, but at least we had the opportunity to take a hit. I mean, uh, yeah, as I was saying, I do think it's possibly worth... Uh, we'll give this a go, but I don't like the idea that it's purple and only purple. And so... Hello. You just you just wait for that. Okay, okay, okay. And, and it, it just does it. So a tap to freeze and a hold to kill. It's pretty decent. I would like it to be a, a green weapon so that we have an excuse to take more greenery. But you can't win them all. Hold. I don't know if that's gonna work for us long term. If you you've got to think in terms of bosses really. Haven't you? That's the thing. Uh, and also, <laughs> it's really bad, so I'm going to go back uh, and replace this. I don't like it, and we can sell it. Uh, I expect it would be an excellent backup weapon, but it isn't a backup weapon. It's a primary weapon, so we're going to sell it. I mean, the multi nox bow is also not the greatest primary weapon, but I think it's better. It will scale with our green scaling <laughs> and um that's kind of not the only concern either i i like the idea I, that being on its own just now has lent me some valuable insight into the way those enemies work which is to say um i managed to run up really close to it before it became prop before it tried to attack me basically uh which means 
Also, when did I take damage? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot that I shouldn't still take damage. Um, I see a scroll of power, which I avoided somehow. Um, you know, you can probably get some decent value out of it. I did get hit there as well, which is interesting. You'll probably get some, uh, you can, basically you can get really close to it before it becomes a problem. You are shimmering like you are uh, invisible. You can run up to it, shield it, and then get past it all at the same time, which is not something I've realized before. Uh, it's nice to know. I think I'm starting to learn how to deal with those enemies, and part of how to deal with those enemies is be able to see them. <laughs> It'd be great if there was sort of a, 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 a... What am I trying to say? Like an upgrade you can get that would allow you to more easily see... Oh, I forgot about these, by the way. The, uh, the, the, the invisible enemies. Give me a little bit of an aura around them or something like that. Even if it's only for that run. Let's do it. Even if it's only for that one run where maybe just this time your passive bonus is to not be owned by those things every damn time. That would be grand. <laughs> fall off the vine just to kill the thing. How come you don't fall off the edge when I do? Ooh, hello. Again with the taking longer than you're supposed to. Wolf trap? No. We've already got a green um bomb thingy, which I should be using the heck out of. That's nice, nice. Oh what a day. How's your day been? You plunker. Did you see that? I just sort of stood there and took it. Honestly, I thought it was doing more DPS than that. It's all the same to you. Should have uh, tried that because a bit of bleeding on it makes all the difference. I tried to. I can't. The rolling and the timing of the enemies. Oh, get out of it. Bows are just bad. They're great. Some bows are excellent <laughs> as uh, primary weapons. Most bows are excellent as. Backup weapons. This bow is excellent currently. Well, I don't know if it's going to be excellent as a backup weapon, but it certainly is not excellent as a primary weapon. That's what I'm using it as. So that's a problem. Don't know if you can tell. Oh, that was a roll and then a shield, which I honestly didn't think I had in me, but there you go. Perhaps in my parrying, because at some point I'm going to wish that I had. And we're going to want to be able to uh, parry. See how I use the time. I've got it. You use the time after you send their shot back at them to... I don't want to... Ow, no. Get a ship. You use the time when the first shot hits them. They're stunned slightly. And then you can roll past them. Jen is asking me what she could eat. Should she get answers on a postcard, please? Discord. Sweet and sour chicken. Eight eighty for a salmon sushi sushi set. Five lamb skewers, two bao. Mmm, bao. I mean, I like bao the most of them, but sushi sounds good too. Sorry. <laughs> I'll just be here failing to get 30 kills on the first floor. Which should go to show quite how difficult the crappy bow is there. Let's reforge nothing because I don't like them. And then let's go for some... <sighs> some cooldowns. I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. Eat bow and drive at the same time. Not recommended. On P. Don't do anything in drive at the same time, except for maybe watch the road. Which is part of driving, so it's not happening at the same time. Any more than, you know, using the controller and playing the game is happening at the same time. It's part of the part of the jump, right? I don't know if I do a what hurt? Me? I don't know what hurt me. Use this. Let's try that again. Didn't hurt that time. I just don't even know. 
genuinely protect by walking over here. Peck your thumb. Right, you. Go over here. Be parried. And then attack. Yes. That was uh, actually quite close. Did not appreciate that. One bit. At least the healing out continues to be applied. <laughs> right, I, I, I got the rhythm of that, I think. Eventually. I do not like this setup. <laughs> One bit. Honestly, um, I don't think this is going to last long. Do some things that I can parry. Nice. I'm trying to parry it, but it's not letting me. There we go. Uh, I don't even want this. <laughs> I gave her all that effort in vain. Uh, a lady just walked past with sweet chili fried chicken, £8.90. She's in Bang Bang again. We've been through this. I usually record on a Monday. It is a Monday. How's your Monday? It's Monday, so uh, why am I asking everyone knows what Mondays are like? So she's in Bang Bang again, as we all know. Um, I don't want either of these. I want the one with more HP. <laughs> uh, and she's trying to decide what to buy. Why is everything so expensive in the world right now? The reason things are so expensive is called inflation and you can read some or listen to some decent books slash podcasts on the concept of economics you can get a pretty decent sort of primer on economics uh ooh. i'm tempted by this because it's better <laughs> i'm also tempted to re-roll and see what else i can get a green sword broadsword or valmont's whip I would like something better if I'm going to have to use a weapon that I'm not good at. Hungry or not hungry enough? Uh, what just by just get bow. Get bow while it's best. Buns FTW. Everyone knows I'm a buns man. Okay, good. Honestly, she's asking me while I'm recording an episode of Dead Stars what she should eat. I mean, I understand that there's... It's a difficult question, and I'm not being facetious. It is a difficult question for some people. What should I eat? Because the concept of eating for some people is kind of off the charts in terms of capability. But at the same time, you're in Bang Bang, eat everything. But then that's what I was saying. Why is everything so expensive? Well, it's because wages have stagnated uh, compared to inflation. What does that mean? It means that we are not being paid as much as we should be if inflation were taken into account. Like, if the economy inflates by 4% during the year, then we know who's blame, but at the same time, it means that you should pay 4% more than you were last year to accommodate, which kind of defeats the point of inflation in the first place, I have to imagine. Right? <laughs> why are we? Why is the economy inflating if we're just allowing people to have more money? Uh, the concept of inflation, I think I talked about this before, it's basically based on this idea that wealth and money are different things, and money is a division of the amount of wealth available to the country. And what happens is, rich people do not spend their money, which is why they're rich, ever, and it just sits and languishes in bank accounts that have no real effect on, on the world, and therefore the amount of actual money in in the world in the, in the economy is worth less so you have to make more of it to divide it up enough which let me let me read one of these has something in it a moment of silence ah. <laughs> nice uh give me sure for what it's worth which is not much uh so yeah lay capitalism boo but we make up for it by being paid more, <laughs> okay? Um, except we don't. I don't want a new shield. Let's try melee. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, bows are fun and all, and I do like the heavy crossbow to some extent, because I like the way it grapples enemies temporarily, but I, I, I don't like the time it takes me to actually perform and, and attack and actually cause damage. So the, the real problem is not that 
things are expensive, it's that things are more expensive than we are being paid for them to be. What? I rolled! Get out of it! Nice, nice, nice. So crits on multiple enemies is grand and all. It, there didn't have to be multiple enemies for it to work, if you don't mind me saying so. Uh, random skills, please. No, no, no. Eh. So boring. Let me out. So do I more? We just have more money. <laughs> There's a problem in the general world in general. Which is that, first of all, I'm not using... 30... Uh, my... <laughs> my magic making enemies grenade. But also... I work in tech, in IT, in, in programming, in develop software development, which is a very, very meticulous craft. And it's difficult, but not that difficult. What is difficult about it is not making software, it's making software that's any good. And the problem with making software that's any good is that you have to thoroughly test and, and go through much Q&A. And, and a whole bunch of every sort of um, automated testing and automated deployments and you know there's practices there's documentation to be made there's you know the amount of stuff involved in making actual software is astounding um, so it costs a lot of money is a problem and if you want software you have to pay for it uh, people won't. <laughs> because there's a lot of software which is open source, which I advocate very highly, as you well know. Um, and people seem to think, I don't know, maybe I'm putting words in people's minds sort of thing here, but it seems to me that people think if some software can be free, then why should we pay for software? And of course, free software is not being... Um, first of all, it's not being done custom, it's not bespoke software, you know, the, the free software that we use is a generic solution that the writers of the software hopes will suit your use case as well as theirs, right? They wrote it essentially for themselves because it didn't exist most of the time, that's usually why that happens. Um, and then if you happen to align with what they're trying to do, or if you think that you have some way of improving it, they're usually happy to receive the feedback, so, yeah, um, by and large, open source software is what it is, you get what you, you're given, you know, beggars can't be choosers and all that. Uh, what was that? <laughs> that, was, that was a melange sort of melee, not even a melee. But follow your own rules. Uh, no. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's go somewhere else. Let me out. Um, and we do use open source software at work. A whole bunch. Like, we should, because the alternative is to use restrictively licensed paid software, which has the same problems. And then on top of that, the fact that you paid for it, <laughs> it makes it even worse, because the problem with paid software, which this is not a hot take, many people are aware of this, um, is that you... The people who make it are not interested in improving it after you pay for it, because you've already paid for it. So, if you are sort of inclined to purchase software, you shouldn't be. At least, you shouldn't purchase not bespoke software. Oh, well, I expected that not to be dead at that point. There you go. I can see you down there. Stop hurting me, you meanie. Is there another one? Yes. There's always one next to these. Let me out. Oh, you can just parry them at any point. What? 
do it. Here. You've got a lacerator, huh? Do you not have these spare things? I do not like this device. No, you can't. You're not allowed it. Get ahead of it. Give me that. Missed. Bad timing. Terrible timing. Use blueprint. It's better. Not working. Got it. Got it. Uh, now I have no HP left because the game is... What did you do that for? <laughs> I tried to jump and my dude there decided to climb onto the ledge. I explicitly did not want him to climb onto because it was going to hurt. Finding it a little bit difficult to uh, cope with this joker. Who thinks he knows better than me what he should be doing. Oh. Um, anyway. We use open source software as a base for very bespoke and very tailored. Um, not open source software, right? And we have our own open source extensions to set open source software in some situations. But generally, we provide services to people, customers, big companies, right? Not just, in, not even at all individuals. Um, who want slash need slash didn't know they wanted until we told them. Uh, also. <laughs> um, a bespoke piece of software, right? Uh, um, our bespoke thingy, we, we, we do that. That's what we, we make. We make bespoke software. So, nice. Oh, please give me HP. <laughs> um, either they don't pay enough or we don't charge enough. But either way, it's silly. Stop it. Because it means that we don't get paid for the effort that we put in. We are very unlikely to survive the, uh, the actual situation here, which is that <laughs> we need to get through this level in order to give the thingy back. Who wants it in the first place? We're just going to wait for this to do its job. Because there's nothing else I can do. My screen is vignetted. Oh, Christ. How did you get a save? It's not even funny. It's the HP. It's not HP. Why? Oh, God. I'm trying to time it so that when I swing my shield, it actually has some effect on the enemy. Not my shield. <laughs> my shield's nothing to do with it. There's more of them. My, my spiky thing here. Right, I'm trying to get them before they get me. Gotcha. Right. Oh. I don't know what's going on. Yikes! They're still there. And now these things have happened again. Why are you allowed to see me? <laughs> it's, it's not. It's not a thing. Any one of you hits me, I am a god, right? So just don't. Well, thank you. I'd appreciate it if you could not. I know I could shield them. <laughs> and I know that I'm not talking about what I was just talking about, but... At the same time, uh, I'm a little bit preoccupied, if you don't mind. Help. No, you didn't grab onto the thing I needed you to grab onto. I have no idea how you're supposed to get through these situations, especially... Can I at least have been offered the opportunity to have uh, a better <laughs> weapon, you know, a better set of uh, skills, anything, anything at all would have been, would have been grand. So uh, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. 24 minutes long and absolutely no progress whatsoever. What is this, by the way? Someone please tell me. Something fishy about this beast. What is this joker? He's carrying one of them... One of them things. Do I have to hunt this? Is that what you're telling me? Because this is the hunter's mirror, right? And this is very much like... 
uh, enter the dungeon, because in Enter the Gungeon you're supposed to kill a certain number of uh, a particular monster and then return to the person, but like, monsters. I've never been killed by a purulent zombie of that type or that type. Corpse worms, however, have killed me a lot. Let's see if that um, target dummy is actually in here. Yes, it is. Protector. So I've killed 197. I wonder if I have to get to like 200 or something. I haven't really noticed any information about them when I'm killing them, but well, there we go. Oh, thanks for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed me ramble on about being grumpy about late capitalism and until the next episode when we try another useless pair of items. I'll see ya. <laughs>